Hi, it's Trixie, let's switch it up. Change your costume, Mimi, change it around. Hi, it's Trixie. Hi, 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 hi. Today we're gonna do something we've never done on the channel, which is change looks. Now, this really brings me back to when I worked as a local performing drag queen. Bigger audiences, little makeup changes, nobody notices. But back in the day, I really tried to like always switch my makeup between numbers, change my lip, add blush, like, you know. And today I have on this look from just like my hotline reveal video, which we have right here. So today I thought because we did this very simple black and white look, like let's change looks entirely. Let's change the whole vibe. I really want to go glitter rainbow disco. And this makeup is honestly a good template for it. It's very little blush, very little eye, very little lip. And we can build on the makeup we have. Now at the makeup counter, we used to call this like going day to night. Where you would do someone's makeup and then add a few products and dramatically change it. It's supposed to empower people to like, you know, try things with their makeup and stuff. And it is corny, but the truth is making your makeup convertible is sort of the fun of it. It's like, how much can I change this look with just a few little products? I grabbed a couple things here, a couple Trixie products and a couple other products. And I think we should just change it, shall we? So, um, let's just switch it up. Really cool vintage earrings. I don't know where we got these, but they're like plasticky, rubbery. Aren't those cute? Love these earrings though. They're ain't nothing like real vintage clip-ons. They're so pretty. They, I mean, these are probably 40, 50 year old earrings, but they look so nice in drag. Hotline nails, let's take them off. I have this new outfit from Moo Moo. It's a little bit rainbow bright, but I saw it hanging there today and I was like, let's put that outfit on. So I just want to around with you guys, shall we? We've done so many videos where you guys see me getting dragged from the top down. And I think it's kind of amusing to pretend like this is my real face and we're about to put makeup on. It's me in drag with no nails. This is who I am. Isn't that shocking? When I work with drag queens, God damn, who just like don't bother to put nails on, I'm always like, oh, couldn't be me, bitch. Can I have a robe? I just don't want you guys to look at my huge breasts the whole time. I mean, it's just. I'm almost worried if you're a wig, like will we fly to community? Like, Seriously, like when I have a wig, when I'm like in drag, this will probably get me demonetized because it counts as like porn. So weird. It's like on Drag Race when they're in the workroom out of drag, you can basically see everything except their penis. But when they're lip syncing and a nipple slips out, they blur it. <gasps> that's a woman's nipple. Like that's so fucking crazy. Before you try to call me rich, David bought me this robe like three years ago. When I wear a name brand on camera, it seems to be all people can comment on. Trixie Mattel is so rich now. I don't know what that is, but good for you, bitch. Donatella will take a collaboration, girl. Versace. So I don't want to take my lashes off to do this look, but I think we probably should. Otherwise, the product's going to fall on the lashes. So let's just... That's so shocking. That's so gross, but whatever. My dream and my plan here is to turn this black and white graphic eye into like a silver holographic disco eye and then do a really heavy hot pink blush. And then I think nude out the lips even further. So it's like a big colored mask up here. I almost want to feel roller disco David Bowie today and I hope we can pull that off. I've been listening to David Bowie here and there. I love, if you guys like house music, there's a Honey Dijon remix of um, Let's Dance. And I mean, adding Honey Dijon to anything is, it's, it's a good idea. She's really amazing. The jig is up. I love honey. Okay. She's been open about this in interviews. When you think of like an openly trans woman in New York, you know, EDM is a very hetero male dominated industry. And she would show up with buckets of real vinyl and be not white, not cis. I mean, she basically, her music speaks for itself. So even if she's in a room full of homophobes, other DJs probably have to be like, damn bitch. I mean, she's, she's amazing. So I have the lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And I thought what I would do is paint over this lid and then like stone it with glitter. Let's see how that's gonna work. I, I don't wanna do, I have MAC 3D Silver here. I have this little clear thing. I'm just gonna mix on here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of 3D Silver with this clear base and I'm gonna like make a paint basically. I love 3D Silver. It's a, it's a really nice, not eye approved glitter, but you know, my eyelid is my forehead. So, if you guys ever see me using a product on my eyes, that's not approved for eyes, just remember that my eye is on my forehead. This is technically a lip brush. Companies that sell lip brushes, lip brushes are usually really good for glitter. Actually, I think this is the L'Oreal gel liner brush that it comes with. Looks pretty good, that kind of silver glitter, right? Pretty. And then while it's wet, I'm gonna go to this Disco Dots. You guys, Disco Dots from um, Lit. It's like little face sequins, basically. My dream would be to glue these on. I'm not sure if we can, unless I use like, Lash glue. Well, let's try. Let's try to just use it with glitter glue. I have to just color in my eyelid because that little black bald spot is bothering the fucking sh out of me. Sorry. That's better. So I did the silver and then I just kind of went in and cleaned it with the line. And then I want to put some of these individual little schmagiggies on there, but I just don't know if it'll grab, but let's try. 
Oh yeah, this is making me horny, bitch. Yes, bitch. <gasps> oh yes. See, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, on tour, like glitter's the last thing I wanna mess with on tour. My skin can't take it, my travel kit can't take it. When I'm home and it's just us girls, oh my God. Like that, oh, I wish I had a DJ gig tonight. That is so beautiful. I had to take this out on the road with me. That is so pretty. See, sometimes shopping in your own collection, people. I've had this for years. Amy Doan, you know, from uh, Sugar Pill, we were obsessed with Barbie shops from Lit Glitters, and then Lit sent me a bunch of their products, and this one, I remembered I had, because I was like, I gotta use that at some point. Oh God, I fucking love that. Look at that. From this side to this side, the one with the sequins, it's such a difference. That is so fun. I mean, I'm like layering this glitter glue on. I really should be using Duo. Raja taught me this. If you just like mix Duo with a little bit of water, it basically creates like a little adhesive. That's pretty good. It's a little hodgepodge, but you know what? It's me. You guys are not, you're not used to flawless. Love the way that looks. I think I'm a little over this bottom graphic liner right now. I'm gonna take a little Trixie brush and a little bit of this black gel liner and just add a little bit underneath and just like smoke it out. Lately, I saw this Pamela Anderson. Um, you guys know Erin Parsons. She's a global makeup artist from Maybelline, I believe. She did. She does a lot of videos about different like celebrity makeup artists and she did a video on Pamela Anderson and she showed how much of Pamela Anderson's makeup artist used a Q-tip and lately I'm like, have I been sleeping on Q-tips? I do think Q-tips are nice. I just, it's not something I reach for immediately with, with drag makeup. I'm just smoking out the bottom a little bit. It's just a little, I don't like that drawn on 60s lash look for what we're doing. So I'm just gonna, I smoothed it out using some hotline and then I'm gonna go in with a little shadow brush and just buff it out. So I'm just putting my lashes back on because now that I have the glitter done and this this fatter crease, I just, I do need, while I'm experimenting, I do need to see it with lashes to know like what it's gonna look like because I'll doubt it the whole time and then put the lashes on and be like, oh, took the head back, isn't that fun? That little crystal sparkle, it's so cool. I'm gonna beef up the liner a little bit on the top and now that I have the lash on, it looks pretty good, but I think I wanna cut this into more of like a, a weird shape, kind of join them together like that. Do you see that? <gasps> Ooh, love that. Horny, horny, bye horny. I need to figure out how I talk to people because I keep saying things in front of, like uh, we had Christmas at our house and you know, David's mom's visiting, my sister's visiting, the baby. I bite into the lasagna and I go, horny, and everyone's like, I just like feel David's hand on my leg like, but I just am who I am. It's such a slippery slope to start deciding who you are in front of what people. We all wear different hats. No bitch, you're fake. I have one hat, it's gorgeous. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Love that, love that, love that. So my dream was to carve out more of a big round eye here. I Love that, that's so fun. Smoked out the bottom, easy peasy. Now I gotta put on some bottom lashes. I have a set of good night lashes and Trixie Cosmetics here. One time I used half and now I'm about to use the other half. So just new year, new us guys. We've been, we've been talking so much about, I don't wanna give away too much, but we've talked so much about what we've done on the channel. We talk so much now about what we're going to do. Like our little humble channel that you all remember is very fun and sweet is, is we have big, and weird plans for this. Like, we love YouTube, bitch. As somebody who does TV and YouTube, I never have the fun I have on TV that I do on YouTube. I love doing YouTube and it's gonna be a great year. We're gonna do some really dumb shit. Really dumb shit. Get some bottom lashes on. Ooh, I'm living for her already. See, we added some sequins and we beefed up the liner. It went from this like 60s kind of Austin Powers mod thing to now it's getting a little more disco. Now it's time to do blush. I want to do some really nice hot crimson blush. So I have Doll Face from Trixie Cosmetics. It's a, one of our cream blushes. It's super vibrant. And I thought what we could do is start by building a base for this cream that I'm about to do. I don't recommend, when your face has been powdered like mine, I don't recommend going directly to the stick to the face. I recommend touching to the brush. Oh yeah, bitch. Call me any time. Oh, that's so important. That's so important. This is what my therapist calls doing the work. I know this is what he meant. <gasps> look at that. Like, look at that side of that side. We're not even done yet. This is fierce, bitch. Because this sequin little, it's like this little silver sequin dress with all these multicolor stars on it. And I was like, what would I really want to wear with that? And I was like, I would want to wear silver eyes with big pink cheeks is what I would want to do. So this is doll face, which our cream blushes are made to be very sheared out. You can build them out, but I'm kind of clowning out right now and putting on a lot. Oh yeah, bitch. Oh yes, bitch. And I love using cream. If anybody out there has oily skin, you live in a hot environment, using a cream-based blush like this and then setting it with a powder, that's how you get blush that is on long after you've passed out on the dance floor. People are like, is she dead? No, her cheeks are flush. She looks great. So in the Laganja palette, I have Tongue Pop here, which is a very, very hot pink. I want to use it. So I'm going to use it as blush. Oh, f***ing bitch. Oh my God. This is... 
This is important. This is really important. This is really important. Oh, this is important. All right, I'm gonna stack that on and then I'm gonna buff it out with Trans Lives Matter, which is a light pink. And that's what I'm just gonna use on the, the front of the face because I don't want the hot pink to hug my face. That is beautiful. Look at that pigmentation, honey. God, you guys are lucky to have me. Oh my God, oh my God. You guys, something I love about um, DJing being such a big part of my career now, doing makeup for nightclubs is so much more fun than getting ready for camera. Like when I get ready to go DJ, like I, I put on a lot of blush, a lot of lashes. I mean, I really like to go full Muppet. This is important to me. This is really important to me. That is beautiful. All right, to finish this look off, I don't really wanna change the lip, but I wanna add something to it. I grabbed one of these, I haven't used these. Dualism Beauty makes these prism lights, uh, little, Shadows? They're sort of like shadows, but I'm gonna swatch for you guys. They're mostly shimmer. And I thought we could like press this into the lip. Ooh. All right, I love that. I say let's put on the hair and let's get to it. And finally, here's the look. I mean, this lip turned out a little purple to me more than I wanted to. So I have some Marsha, Marsha, Marsha here, which is this beautiful like gold champagne colored lip gloss from Trixie Cosmetics. And I think this will just cut the lilac. Yo, I was just like, it looked too spacey, space alienish. Oh, see, I love that. That is beautiful. You guys look at this blush. Oh, the peekaboo of the hot, hot blush. That works me out, bitch. With the gloves, I don't know. I would put on like roller skates with this. I feel great. I feel beautiful. Don't forget the makeup you have on does not have to be a complete rebuild. It's always fun to just like push it. I saw this meme recently that was like the way you fuck up your makeup before you get in the shower. Like if you want to try something new, always a great opportunity. I mean, most of the time I'll just go out and go home in the same makeup, but it's fun to switch it up. I feel beautiful. Thank you for joining me for this very short video today. I just wanted to demo a few products and talk to you and just transform. So let's look at the two looks side by side. I really like this completely different vibe, right? I mean, we just added what four products, different vibe. Thank you for joining us and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.